Hi, my name is Mark. I'm one of the anaesthetic registrars at the Imperial School of Anesthesia. Today we're going to be running through the anaesthetic machine check, and this is based on the new AAGBI guidelines released in 2012. Of note, uh, during your career and training, you'll come across a variety of different types of machines, and in increasingly found today are electronic machines which will have an automatic machine check function. So if you come across one of these, you must refer to the manufacturer's guidelines and make sure this machine is automatically checked at the start of each day. First thing to note, also on the new guidelines, is to make sure before starting any case you have a self-inflating bag, which is normally hanging on the back of the machine, we have hanging over here today. First thing we're going to do is make sure there's power supply running through our anaesthetic machine. Plug in at the wall, just turn your anaesthetic machine on. The start of every list, and we can see we've already got power running to our monitor here. The ventilator is just loading up at the moment, and we'll want to make sure is it, if there is a power cut that you'll have a battery supply back up to the ventilator that will kick in. So if I turn the main power off, The machine is now telling me that it's on battery and to check our mains power. Gas supply and suction. The gas supply to anaesthetic machine will come in two forms. Main pipeline gas supply from the wall and there should be gas supply cylinders on the back of your anaesthetic machine. There are three medical gases which we have running to the anaesthetic machine. These are oxygen, nitrous oxide and air. First to check the main pipeline supply. We have the medical air which is a black pipeline, nitrous oxide which is a French blue and oxygen which is a white pipeline. And you want to perform a tug test on each of the pipes to ensure the correct pipe is fitted into the right outlet via straight valve. The tug test will show that if the wrong pipeline is into the wrong socket, the pipe will come out quite easily. Now you want to have a look to make sure that they are cylinders on the back of the machine and they're all full. So you need to go around the back of the machine, we'll turn the cylinders on and you'll see on the cylinder pressure gauges, they should all be full at so 44 bar for the nitrous oxide uh, and 137 bar for the oxygen. Um, <clears throat> once you're happy that you've got full cylinders on the back of the machine, ensure that they're turned off and they will be available to use in an emergency if your main pipeline supply runs out. Now you want to make sure that all your flow meters are working appropriately. There are three flow meters, one for each of the gases. On the far left hand side, you'll find the oxygen flow meter. And the knob for the oxygen flow meter is the hexagonal, it's the largest and will stick out the most. By turning the flow meter anti clockwise, make sure the bobbin will run the whole length of the flow meter and you'll see that the bobbin is continuously rotating to make sure it doesn't get stuck. So we run the full length up and down. You repeat the same for the air. And then also nitrous oxide. What you'll notice with nitrous oxide is as a nitrous oxide uh, amount of gas is being delivered to your patient, the oxygen levels will also start to go up as indicated by this bobbin rise. And this is to prevent a hypoxic mix being delivered to your patient. So it's important to make sure that the oxygen does rise when the nitrous oxide is turned on. You'll notice when you turn the nitrous oxide off that the mass oxygen will still stay fixed and that doesn't come down. Now what you want to make sure is the hypoxic safeguard mechanism will kick into place when the main pipeline supply is lost. I've now disconnected the oxygen pipeline supply 
and as we notice the bobbin is starting to drop in the oxygen flow meter and when it hits a low level we hope to hear a hypoxic alarm kick in, which we're now hearing. Now I'm happy with all the medical gas supplied to the anaesthetic machine and I'm happy there are full cylinders on the back for emergency. I want to make sure I have available suction which is clean and ready to use. Nicely fixed in to clean the new circuit. If I turn my suction off, I can see I'm generating negative pressure so my suction is working.